Good afternoon, people. Uh, today we're going to be looking at the Fragmipedium, which is very similar looking to the Paphiopedalum. This is the one that we did yesterday. Uh, you'll notice that the plants themselves look quite similar, but in actual fact, the Paphiopedalum, the slipper orchid, the normal slipper orchid, is found from India right through to China, so we'll say Southeast Asia. Uh, so that's that one. And this one is a Fragmipedium. Now these ones are from uh, South Mexico, Central and South America, the tropical parts. Uh, now the difference, the main difference in growing with these two is that the traditional slipper orchid, the path grows in bark, or derivatives of it, and the Fragmipedium grows in this material, which is rock wool. I don't know if you can see that. It's very, very light material, spongy and very airy. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to show you how to repot one of these. This particular one is called Memoria Dick Clements, which is a lovely deep red one. So I'll just unpot this, take off the compost. Bear with me a sec. So I want to show you the, uh, the roots. I don't know if you can see that. Again, very similar root systems to the uh, Paphia pedalums. Can you see that they've got a hairy surface? And these are much thinner than the puffs. I don't know if you can tell that. And they're, they're more of a, a light brown, light ginger colour than the other ones which were dark brown. So I'll just knock this off now. This is the old one. There we go. Now the other thing you'll notice is that there's a lot more roots on this plant than there was on the Paphiopedalum. These have got much thinner roots, but there's more of them. So what we're going to do, we're going to use the same pot that we're just taking it out of, because it didn't really need a larger pot. I just want to refresh the compost. And I'm going to put the roots, the long ones, in. There's nothing to chop off, because they're all lovely healthy roots. Position it just below the surface. And then infill with this material. It's a simple process. You can shove it in with your finger, get it in between those fine roots. Back round again. You can get this rock wool material at a lot of hydroponic shops. Uh, you can also buy it pretty readily on eBay and online at other shops. It's probably one of the only plants that I know that, that prefers to grow in rock wool rather than just you know, your normal traditional orchid park. But nevertheless, it does. And there you are. It's as easy as that. I mean, it, you know, you don't have to be a rocket scientist. Put your label back in. Give it a good drink. Now these ones, you want to water these probably once or twice a week and you'll notice that at the minute it's very very light you'll notice that when you pot it obviously it's very very light but when you water it it becomes very very heavy because the water will really suck up into this this rock wool material let me just grab a piece and pull it apart for you you see it's like fluff it's a bit like um, the loft filling material you know Anyway, that's that. That's a frag. You can buy these at orchidspecies.co.uk. We have some lovely ones, some fantastically bright red ones. Um, these are pretty easy to grow in the house. Uh, normally, they're, they're this kind of format, but actually they come in two types. This one that I'm going to show you now. See? Very different leaves. This is your normal type of frag as we say, frag, uh, and they're quite wide, the plants, I mean, you're looking at probably 18 inches or so, so they do take up quite a bit of space, especially as they get older, whereas this one, which is a, which is a variety called uh, Garen Weaver, it has lovely long twisty petals, this is a much smaller growing plant, uh, narrower leaves, and it's not going to get much bigger than that, perhaps up to about here, you know, about there, um, but it's very compact growing, so... This is this that you can see on the surface here is only just top dressed. Underneath it's the same rock wool material. That will just make it look nice. So that's it for today. Hope you enjoyed the little video. Don't forget, 
orchidspecies.co.uk.